who owns these record label companies, who signs a sexy red. You can go out and you can buy, you can get any artist in the world based on their talent. Why, when you, why is it that when you come to black America, you want to platform someone like Sexy Red, when it used to be you platform people like Lauryn Hill? This is intentional. This is intentional because, as Confucius said, Chinese philosopher said that what is in your ears will eventually be what surrounds you, right? Music yeah. is very powerful. Yeah. I heard a saying that music doesn't need an invitation to your soul. Mm -mm. You That's a great way of right saying into it. it. Yeah, and you he, he, in. you are who you you are who you hang out with, but if you're just listening to it all the time. And I, I always got confused. I could never have said it because I'm not black. But if I had an Assyrian culture and all they did was make money off of belittling my people, mm -hmm. I would not pay money for it. I'd be like, yo, what are you doing? You switch sides on us. Like why would you make it out, quote, and then where you came from, well, why don't you come grab us and bail us out? Do you ever get scared of speaking the way you speak? No, I feel very comfortable speaking the way I speak because I'm team God, right? <laughs> yeah, if God has you, who can be against you? All right, so what do you think about what she's saying about black culture, black music, <laughs> the fact that George asked her in the first place? <laughs> It's, that was a delicate thing. I, I agree to the point where they do uh, push certain kind of agendas and certain kind of music to our demographic or people in certain places. Yeah. But it's just, going back to what we just said just now, where you were saying it could be kind of harsh. It's like when you call Sexy Red out, Sexy Red can't really, might not can't help what she grew up at. She can't help, you know what I'm saying, who she is or, you know what I'm saying, like this might be all she knew. So to come out and just name somebody like that and just say, man, you know, that was kind of harsh. But um, I think what she was saying about the message and the things they're pushing to the agenda they have, it's obvious. Like, yeah. you don't really see, you really don't see no other race outside of black people really promoting music that's as has Now, you got some white music that's promoting drugs and, you know what I'm saying, things of that nature. But we talking about just all on violence, the sexuality, all this kind of stuff. Nobody makes music to tear down their own race, I think. Like African Americans yeah. do We do it the best It's yeah. entertainment I mean, We, we like, do it the best We tear each other down I remember somebody Bringing that point up With the um, The Good Times Animation Yeah They were like There's a culture out here There's there's a There's a race of people That would never allow you To put a A, a baby As a drug dealer And peddle it to their kids They would never sign off on that And I was thinking to myself Like man They are so right They're, That would be fought Tooth and nail And then the funny thing About it is they would never have the, I mean, they, they could, but they would never have the, um, the audacity to actually try that and do that or like try to get it through their community because their community would shut it down. The support for it wouldn't even be there. They that's try not to, true. I, I, mean, they, I do I think that's there's true. Drug, there's been people who, who've talked about drug use. Mm -hmm. No, no, no. No, I'm not talking about people. I'm talking about the cartoons. Oh. Like the cartoon of a baby dealing drugs and shooting up neighborhoods and stuff like that. That yeah. to me was... That was the part I think that really I think, took I me over the edge. I think there's other races that different situation. I think there's other shows by other races that do despicable Stereo, stuff. Stereotypes, but, sure. I, but but I think they're but they're not I asking a whole community. No, to but, back but, it. but I think sometimes their I think their race doesn't see it as my only way out. Mm -hmm. Whereas for us, a lot of our only way out is entertainment, the streets, or athleticism. Yeah. And I think that's what yeah. that's what she's coming from. Like, you know, nobody's like, you know, trying to be a doctor, a lawyer, or anything like that. They it's like it's it's pushed on you to be something negative. And right. I think that's what she getting I know you said you're like she I name is sexy red, but you know what I mean? But and to me, and I'm I'm just being real, like I think Lauren Hill wouldn't work at this time. In my personal mm. opinion, just the way we okay. are in the culture. That's 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 my question. Is mm. it is it the okay? And I, I think I know the answer, but is it the labels pushing sexy red on us, or is it us wanting a sexy red? Is it the culture that is asking the labels to give them those kind of people, yes. or is it the labels forcing the that kind of thing on us? Yeah, whose think, fault is it? I see. I think the climate asks for sexy red. It's the gatekeeper. You get what I'm saying? Is it the, but is it the gatekeeper or the culture? That's Go saying, back to our, our experience, right? Our, our experience was we're going to play the top four song. We're going to play the top 10 songs every four hours, and you're going to like it, right? That was yeah, our that Radio was, 1 experience. Yeah, but that doesn't happen now. Um, yeah, but I mean, but I don't know. I don't listen to radio. There's, radio no, there's no other situation like that now. I think I it's a know. combination of both. Yeah. I think So you see how a lot of the artists, quote unquote, blow up. 
they'll have a song in their their neighborhood or their community that's popular. They're basically rapping or talking about what's going on in their neighborhood. They gain local success. When they gain that local success, the uh, the label saying, oh, they already making money. They got motion already. Let's pick them up and put them on a larger stage. So it's like the the labels in my mind. They see what's going on and they say, okay, let's make this even bigger so we can capitalize off of it because obviously they have something that people want to hear. Yeah. But I also think on the flip side, the labels say, hey, this is something that people want to hear. So now you have your industry plants. Now you have people who yeah. are just putting out This, crazy this worked stuff. for her, so we need you to be exactly like exactly. her. We need five yeah. more of her. Yeah. That's yeah. what happened like with uh, Soldier Boy. You see, you see now look at who Trina was yeah. and now look at the girls and what they're doing now. Yeah. It's like Trina time 10. Yeah. yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like oh, Kim. Yeah. 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 Yep. Yeah. I mean, Soldier Boy came out with the crank that, and then now we got a million dancers coming out yeah. right after him. Well, there's you been know. always dancers. But, so, but that's there. my point is, yeah, is it, he, if it didn't work locally, if the community didn't accept it themselves, would they even try to push a sexy red out? You see what I'm saying? Like, is the culture just it's toxic. accepting the wrong culture, things? In the the first culture place? is toxic right now. And that's why I'm saying what I just said. And I think, I think us older people be like, probably give me pushback but I'm like this younger generation I mean there's hope for them but I think at the same time they like toxic stuff mm-hmm. you know what I mean we at we least did I, we did but we had a balance it was it was enough of a balance for us that we could be like <laughs> yeah I don't have to listen to Kim but I could listen to Lauren I don't have to listen to Biggie I could listen to Common I, you know what I'm saying it was still a balance out there where yeah. Now it's not as but, much of a balance. But again, I don't think it was a balance. See, a balance would be there was a there was a NWA and then there was a like a cross movement. You yeah. know what I mean? that's balance. Uh, having having completely negative and then neutral is not balance. It's still tip. Well, the for wrong them, it, for them uh, that is. So for, mm. for what you just said, like somebody would say, "Well, I didn't listen to NWA. I listened to Public Enemy, even though it's." Conscious, see, it, see, that's it, still not. Yeah. But for them, but, but, for, for them, yeah. it in, is. In culture, because remember, Andre, you, he said, man, if they, we gospel rapping. You know yeah. what I'm saying? They're talking about crazy stuff. You want to look at a God. Well, to me, that's the type. problem. Yeah. You the know problem is that even the good stuff was bad. <laughs> right. <laughs> yeah. yeah, but yeah. It, was, yeah. it was almost like. Like J. Cole, um, he's looked upon as conscious. He's the good like, guy. He's, he's the good, good guy, but he'll yeah. talk about some crazy stuff too. Yeah. Yeah. It's dark. Yeah, it's the cu- the culture has yeah. been seeded with bad things. This yeah. is just a crop of that. But know? I don't think I yeah. think I think their version. They're looking at the people from, like we said, the Public Enemies, the Brand Nubians, and all those kind of guys. Were like they're positive. They're mm-hmm. talking about what's going on, and they're giving you a solution right. to it. But, but from us, it's like that's not yeah. the solution. If it ain't Jesus, that's not the solution. You know what I mean? You're saying the solution is but be that, a 5%er. But that's the reason why we're in the situation we're in is that it's it's either complete debauchery or the wrong answer Yeah, right. to yeah. the debauchery. No so you, everywhere you turn is the wrong answer. So yeah. Yeah. For this question, how did it get to this point? Because if you look at songs like The Message, you know what I'm saying? When they went in like the 80s, when it was 70s, when hip hop yeah. came out and they were talking about everything like broken glass everywhere. They're talking about their neighborhood but they were just enlightening you on what's going on. How did we go from talking about the neighborhood, just giving you information, yeah, to yeah, yeah, yeah. talking about the neighborhood, glorifying how bad my neighborhood is? Because the drug dealer became the rapper. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. That's what yeah. happened. Yep. I think I yeah. think in the early 80s, the Melly Mel's, all of them was talking about the society of like, we're in this bad situation. Let me tell you why we're in this bad situation. Mm-hmm. Versus going towards the late the, the 90s when Snoop, Biggie, and everybody, and everybody that, yeah. was telling you about or in the late 80s, telling you about the streets and how fun it was. And we we, we did this to homeboy. And you know what I mean? Like, yeah. you know, and you had some people, I ain't going to say everybody was like that. You had some people that told you the good and the bad about being mm-hmm. in the streets. But majority of the time, the, over, the people who were getting more and more popular were just telling the street life and mm-hmm. not telling the consequences of it. Yeah. You went from the drug dealer to now we got the drug users. Yeah. yeah. So now it's yeah. cool to be popping perks. So Crispy said, uh, do you agree that major labels, the powers that be, platform bad artist messages intentionally? 78% said definitely. Definitely. Mm-hmm. Man, we appreciate everybody. We got 142 live right Amen. now. Thank you guys for watching. If this is your first time, make sure you're subscribed. I asked last time we were here. It's like, hey, we, 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 we this was when, if you look back here, we're at 61,200. Oh. This was right before we hit 60,000 two weeks ago. And and we were short like seven people. And I was like, hey, if you're not subscribed, subscribe. And it was like, it went up like by, by 30. Oh, yeah. wow. <laughs> so I was like, okay, so maybe I need to say that more often. <laughs> if you're not subscribed, subscribe right now. Please yeah. do that for us. Uh, our goal is to hit 100,000 by the end of the year. So please help us do that. Mm-hmm. Question though. 
So who would, who who buys the most hip hop though? Let's think about that though. Who who spends their money the most on hip hop? White people. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So how do we how do we look at that? So is is it like they're enjoying the entertainment from us? Just you know. Tearing, tearing ourselves down that don't make you feel some kind of way um i think yeah. I, I think i think they see it as like you said entertainment wise like it's like watching a movie yeah it's like it's like it's almost like putting your headphones on and you listening to the chronic and you're like i'm in compton oh my god this sounds amazing versus like <laughs> let's go to compton you're like i'm not trying to go to you know what i mean but folks are dying for real like rappers are really yeah. dying and they just like just they roll you look at yeah. rolling loud you don't see no black people out there <laughs> uh, you see he rolling yeah. like you see a crowd for, like they're enjoying this mug. So mm-hmm. you go back to the labels. How's a rolling loud happening? How are all these events happening? How is this stuff happening? Yeah. Like who's putting it in their hands? Cause they're not coming to these neighborhoods getting this music. It's being pre- it's been sent to them. So that's why I it's say it's on both sides. It's both yeah. sides. Mm-hmm. But for for them, real quick, but for them sometimes, at times, I don't know about I know growing up, at at back then it was just I enjoy this music. I'm not trying to live this lifestyle. Yeah. You know what I mean? It was just like, this is entertainment. I thought if I lift in this, I'm going to school and I'm going to be a doctor or whatever. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. I right. think for them, back in the day, it wasn't a pool. Now it's made a little bit more pool, but 